For this project, we'll need square paper, scissors, push pin, and a pencil with eraser. Let's get started. So we're going to fold the paper corner to corner to create a triangle shape. Press down on the fold to crease the paper. Unfold it and repeat with the remaining two corners. And go ahead and unfold it again. Then go ahead and bring the four corners to the center of the paper. And we're going to press the crease at the half point. Just simply press down and let go. And then go ahead and use the scissors and we're going to cut along the four folded line. We're going to cut it slightly past the half point mark. Now, if you have a hole puncher, uh, you can use, but if not, you can just use the push pin. I'm just using a piece of cork underneath my paper, but you can use a piece of cardboard. Go ahead and punch a small hole on the flaps of the paper, but alternating the flap. So we're going to press down one, skip one, press down and create a hold. And once you have all four of the corners, remember to press a hole in the center of the paper as well. And it is assembly time. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to figure out how this would look. I decided to use the white at the back and fold it in like sold. I'm going to take each of the flap with the hole punched and Feed it through the pin, like so. Make sure you do it in the order. And then after you get the fourth flap, you want to feed all of this through the center of the paper as well. And with everything holding in place, you go ahead to secure the pin on the end of the pencil's eraser. We're going to do this perpendicularly to the pencil, like so. You can ask an adult to help you if you need. After you get it secure in place, you can test it out by giving it a light spin to make sure the pin will rotate. Yay! Remember to experiment with different thickness of paper and take it outside for a spin.